Imagine seeing the sky open up right in front of you and something amazing happening in the middle of Jerusalem. Crazy things are being said about a big event there. People are saying they saw Jesus and his angels. Is it a miracle or is it a sign of something really bad happening? We don't know for sure. A lot of questions are popping up. Are old stories about the future coming true? Is someone evil about to do something terrible? Is Jesus coming back sooner than we thought? We're about to discover shocking things that are hard to believe. In this video, we'll look at clues, visions, and messages that might tell us what's going to happen next. This could change everything you think about what's going to happen in the world, imagine this. A tableau of celestial wonder unfolds in the heart of Jerusalem. Reports of Jesus and angelic figures have ignited a fervor of speculation and inquiry. As if echoing this extraordinary event an Israeli general recounts a personal testament to divine providence during the crucible of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. This ethereal phenomenon has captivated the world with many drawing parallels to angelic beings. We are not speaking of ordinary locales. This is Jerusalem, a city imbued with history, faith, and now perhaps a miraculous visitation. Within the hallowed embrace of the Western Wall, where countless prayers have ascended, a convergence of the sacred and the extraordinary is taking place. It is here that the Archangel Michael is said to have made a profound appearance. Jerusalem, a crossroads of civilizations and religions, has been a stage for divine revelations throughout history. The current events evoke echoes of biblical miracles, stirring the soul and igniting questions about the nature of reality. The Israeli military, a modern force operating in a region steeped in ancient history and religious fervor, has reported its own encounters with the inexplicable. Eyewitness accounts from soldiers describe ethereal phenomena accompanying armored vehicles during intense combat situations. These visions, often interpreted as divine protection, have become part of the collective memory of the Israeli armed forces. The Six-Day War, a pivotal moment in Israeli history, is frequently cited as a prime example of divine intervention. The nation's improbable victory against overwhelming odds has fueled speculation about a higher power guiding the outcome. A seasoned Israeli general, a veteran of the harrowing Yom Kippur War, shares his account of divine intervention amidst the chaos of battle. His unwavering faith, a beacon in the darkest hours, underscores the enduring power of belief. In these tumultuous times, marked by the fulfillment of ancient prophecies, many remain oblivious to the unfolding cosmic drama. The recent celestial phenomenon, captured with startling clarity near the Ferraro family home, has ignited a global discourse on the nature of reality. This extraordinary event, marked by ethereal formations bearing an uncanny resemblance to angelic beings, has precipitated a resurgence of interest in the divine and the supernatural. It is a testament to the enduring human fascination with the unknown and a poignant reminder of our innate longing for connection to something greater than ourselves. The convergence of this celestial spectacle with the sacred precincts of Jerusalem has imbued the event with profound spiritual significance. The Western Wall, a focal point of Jewish devotion and a repository of millennia of prayers, has become a stage for a cosmic drama of unparalleled proportions. The appearance of what many believe to be Archangel Michael at this hallowed site is a catalytic moment a reassertion of the belief in divine intervention in human affairs. Jerusalem has once again assumed its role as a nexus of the earthly and the celestial. It is a place where history and prophecy intertwine, where the tangible and the ethereal coexist. The emergence of an angelic presence within its ancient walls is not merely a sensational event, but a profound spiritual awakening. At the heart of this extraordinary occurrence lies the figure of Archangel Michael, a celestial being whose name is synonymous with power, protection, and divine will. In the tapestry of scripture, Michael emerges as a preeminent celestial warrior, a champion of God's people. The book of Daniel in particular offers a vivid portrayal of Michael as a prince of unparalleled stature, engaged in a cosmic battle against the forces of darkness. In religious and mythological traditions, he is often depicted as a powerful celestial being a warrior of light and a protector of humanity. His association with the Jewish people is particularly strong as evidenced by his prominent role in the book of Daniel. Here he is portrayed as a prince of unparalleled power, 
tasked with protecting God's chosen people. The prophecy in Daniel 12, 1, where Michael is described as the great prince who stands for the children of your people, has taken on new significance in light of recent events. The convergence of these elements, the ancient city, the modern military, and the celestial phenomenon creates a complex tapestry of meaning. It challenges our understanding of the world, inviting us to consider the possibility of dimensions beyond our physical reality. The question of whether these events are mere coincidences, products of mass hysteria, or evidence of a higher power is one that will continue to be debated for generations. His role as a protector and guide is evident throughout the biblical narrative. From the Exodus, where his hand is implied in the deliverance of the Israelites from Egyptian bondage, to the later trials of the Jewish people, Michael's influence is a constant undercurrent. His appearance in Jerusalem can be seen as a reaffirmation of this ancient covenant, a promise of divine protection and guidance in an increasingly uncertain world. The implications of this event are far-reaching. It challenges our understanding of the cosmos, inviting us to contemplate the possibility of dimensions beyond our physical reality. It reignites the age-old question of humanity's place in the grand scheme of existence. And it offers a beacon of hope in a world often shrouded in darkness. As we grapple with the complexities of the modern world, the appearance of Archangel Michael in Jerusalem serves as a reminder of the enduring power of faith and the possibility of miracles. Whether this event is interpreted as a harbinger of a new era, a call to spiritual awakening, or simply a celestial anomaly, it is undeniable that it has captured the world's imagination. As the days unfold and further revelations emerge, it is imperative that we approach this phenomenon with open minds and hearts, seeking to understand its deeper meaning and implications for humanity as a whole. Throughout the annals of scripture, the figure of Michael emerges as a pivotal force in the cosmic struggle between good and evil. As the champion of the heavenly host, he is depicted in Revelation as a valiant warrior, leading the charge against the forces of darkness and securing a triumph for righteousness. This potent image underscores Michael's indispensable role in the grand narrative of salvation. Scriptural accounts are complemented by historical records and religious traditions that attest to Michael's tangible influence on human affairs. The Yom Kippur War of 1973 provides a compelling example. Amidst the chaos of battle, Israeli soldiers reported witnessing a celestial figure offering protection, a phenomenon interpreted as a manifestation of Michael's guardianship. Such occurrences deepen the conviction that divine intervention is an enduring reality and that Michael stands as a steadfast protector of God's people. In our contemporary world, marked by uncertainty and turmoil, the archetype of Michael continues to inspire and console. His image as a defender and protector offers solace and hope to those navigating life's challenges. In the face of adversity, the belief in a celestial guardian instills courage and resilience. Michael's enduring message is a testament to the unwavering presence of divine support, inviting humanity to look beyond earthly limitations and embrace the promise of heavenly aid. The recurrence of Michael in visions and miraculous events is a profound affirmation of God's abiding love and care for humankind. As we journey through life, it is essential to cultivate a steadfast trust in divine providence. Michael serves as a potent symbol of this protection, illuminating the path forward with hope and assurance. In the midst of life's uncertainties, his presence becomes a beacon, guiding us through darkness towards a haven of peace and security. Michael's involvement in both ancient and modern conflicts underscores the enduring significance of divine protection in human history. As a steadfast champion of God's people, he offers unwavering hope and reassurance. His story is a testament to the power of faith and the knowledge that, regardless of circumstances, divine assistance is ever present. The narrative of divine protection extended to Israel transcends the confines of antiquity. Recent events, such as the inexplicable dust and rainstorm that thwarted ISIS advance, have ignited speculation about contemporary manifestations of divine intervention. While interpretations may vary, there is no denying the extraordinary nature of these occurrences. Yet perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Israel's history is its indomitable spirit. Centuries of exile, persecution, and unimaginable suffering 
have failed to extinguish the flame of Jewish identity. From the Babylonian captivity to the horrors of the Holocaust, the Jewish people have emerged from adversity with renewed strength. This resilience is a living testament to the enduring power of faith and the unwavering presence of divine providence. The annals of Israel echo with a profound narrative, a chosen people under the unwavering aegis of a divine protector. Psalm 33:12 aptly encapsulates this enduring covenant. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Israel's history stands as a living testament to this divine guardianship, a chronicle marked by both miraculous deliverance and the indomitable spirit of its people. Beyond the tangible manifestations of protection, the Jewish faith has served as an impregnable fortress. Centuries of adversity have tested the nation's resolve, yet its cultural and spiritual identity remain steadfast. Israel's resilience, a beacon in a tumultuous world, is a reflection of both divine favor and human fortitude. Deuteronomy 31.6 offers a timeless promise, be strong and courageous. These words have been a source of unwavering hope for Israel, a nation that has repeatedly risen from the ashes. As the world undergoes ceaseless transformation, Israel's reliance on faith endures. The nation's history serves as a potent reminder that in moments of crisis, divine intervention is not merely a theological concept, but a lived reality. The future, like the past, holds the promise of continued divine protection and guidance. Israel's journey is a quintessential narrative of divine providence. The Psalms proclaim, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. This enduring truth underpins the nation's hope and resilience. Central to the tapestry of spiritual warfare are the angelic forces, divine emissaries tasked with safeguarding humanity. Among these celestial warriors, Archangel Michael stands preeminent. His name, a declaration of divine supremacy, is synonymous with power and protection. Biblical accounts portray him as a formidable champion, leading the heavenly host against the forces of darkness. In our contemporary world, Michael remains a potent symbol of hope and security. His image as a defender offers solace amidst life's challenges. He serves as a steadfast reminder that divine assistance is ever present, even in our darkest hours. As humanity faces increasing complexities, Michael's message resonates with enduring relevance. His existence assures us we are not alone. Divine aid is accessible to those who seek it. His manifestations past and present are testaments to God's enduring love and care. Thus we move forward with confidence, knowing God's guiding hand will continue to shield us. The story of Archangel Michael is a profound exploration of divine faithfulness and protection. In a world marked by uncertainty, his presence illuminates our path, offering peace amidst life's storms. As we explore the profound teachings of the Bible, we encounter numerous prophecies that highlight the significance of Israel in the unfolding narrative of the end times. One such prophecy is found in the book of Zechariah, where the prophet declares, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of terror to all the peoples around it, and Judah will be a cup of terror to all the nations around it. Zechariah 12.2 this powerful declaration emphasizes the critical role of Jerusalem and Judah, indicating that they will be central to future events, causing astonishment and fear among the nations. Upon deeper reflection, we uncover that this prophecy carries multiple layers of meaning. The imagery of a cup of terror suggests a potent blend of awe and fear that will grip the surrounding peoples. As the spiritual and political heart of Israel, Jerusalem will become a focal point of both conflict and reverence in the days to come. The events foretold in Zechariah describe a gathering of nations around Israel, not merely as adversaries, but as witnesses to the unfolding of divine purposes. Moreover, Zechariah's prophecy is but one of many that highlight Israel's pivotal role in the final days. Throughout the scriptures, we find repeated references to Israel's importance in God's plan, for instance, in Isaiah 2.2.3, it is written, In the last days the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the top of the mountains, exalted above the hills, and all nations shall stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. 
These passages reinforce the centrality of Jerusalem and Israel in the ultimate events, underscoring that they will become the epicenter of instruction and worship for all nations. The convergence of nations around Jerusalem, as described in both Zechariah and Isaiah, signifies a global acknowledgement of divine authority in the fulfillment of the promises made to the people of Israel. Therefore, as we contemplate biblical prophecy, it becomes evident that Israel holds a crucial place in the culmination of human history. The words of prophets like Zechariah invite us to ponder Israel's and Jerusalem's role in God's divine plan, leading us to a richer understanding of the end times and the manifestation of the divine among all nations. The evocative image of Jerusalem as a cup of astonishment encapsulates the city's pivotal role in the grand tapestry of history. This potent metaphor foreshadows Jerusalem as the epicenter of cataclysmic events that will reshape the world. At its heart, a cosmic battle between good and evil will climax, a confrontation prophesied to herald the dawn of God's kingdom on earth. Steeped in historical and spiritual significance, Jerusalem is destined to become the radiant stage for a divine revelation of unparalleled magnitude. Scripture promises a time when God's glory will emanate so resplendently from Jerusalem that all nations will be irrevocably drawn to it. While this era is foretold to be a crucible of tribulation, it will also be a period of profound spiritual illumination. As this epical moment draws near, Scripture urges us to maintain unwavering vigilance. Jesus' admonition in Matthew 24, 42, Therefore keep watch, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming, serves as a perpetual reminder of the imperative for spiritual alertness and preparedness. For those who anchor their faith in the Lord and yield to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, divine protection is a steadfast promise. This reliance on God's guardianship is paramount, especially during times of upheaval. The comforting assurance of Psalm 91, 1-2, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty, underscores the tranquility and security that flow from unwavering trust in God, particularly amidst uncertainty. Equally indispensable is the compass of the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised in John 16, 13, when the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth, affirms the Spirit's role as our unwavering guide, leading us through life's challenges and preparing our hearts for the future. Therefore, the metaphor of Jerusalem as a cup of astonishment is not merely a portent of upheaval, but a clarion call to spiritual readiness and reliance on divine providence. It assures us that even in the midst of end-time chaos, God's presence will be a steadfast beacon. As we navigate these uncharted waters, our response is clear, to stand resolute in faith, trust in God's protection, and allow the Holy Spirit to illuminate our path. The extraordinary appearance of the Archangel Michael in Jerusalem stands as an unmistakable harbinger of momentous events foretold in Scripture. This celestial manifestation signifies that the divine stage is set and the anticipated culmination of God's promises is drawing near. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, it is imperative to anchor our faith firmly and seek divine guidance with renewed fervor. Scripture exhorts us to place our complete trust in God's unerring direction as we prepare our hearts for the glorious return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The promise of Philippians 4-7 offers profound solace. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This divine tranquility is a steadfast companion, offering serenity amidst life's uncertainties and the challenges of these latter days. As we anticipate the fulfillment of prophecy and the triumphant return of Christ, vigilance and spiritual preparation are paramount. Our trust in God must be unwavering and our pursuit of His guidance unceasing. May the incomparable peace of God envelop you, providing strength and composure as we eagerly await the ultimate fulfillment of God's promises. I encourage you to deepen your faith through prayer and spiritual contemplation. As we navigate these transformative times, let us find solace and inspiration in God's unwavering love. With hearts filled with hope and anticipation, let us eagerly await the majestic return of our Lord Jesus Christ, when the promise of redemption will be gloriously fulfilled.